then we do the lifting to get very small. Okay. Seems fine, but you see your final results in the Right guys, so I've had my first shower today. Oh it's nice. Problem in all the feeling. Well, good morning guys. I hope you're all doing well. So today I am heading to Turkey. I am currently on my way to Stansted Airport. Um, my flight's leaving in three hours from now. So yeah, we'll see how it goes once I've checked in my luggage and everything. <laughs> So today is day two. Yesterday I was really exhausted after the whole trip and I just came, um, arrived in Istanbul. Once again, I found myself in Istanbul. I arrived in Istanbul yesterday and I was really, really exhausted. So I just made my way up to the hotel and um, just got into bed and slept. There was nothing much going on in just transfers from the um from the airport rather to the hotel. So that was all that was happening yesterday. So today is day two, today is the 3rd of September. So basically, um, I've got a couple of things I need to do on the itinerary. And also guys, I'm gonna give you some sort of a hotel tour. I was initially gonna give you guys that yesterday, but like I said, I was really exhausted. So I thought to myself, whatever, I'm gonna give it to you guys now in a minute. So basically, like I said, I'm in Turkey once again. If you've not watched my other video where I did explain my um, reason for coming back to Turkey, then I would advise you to go and watch that video. If you are anti-surgery guys, so if you are a person who doesn't approve of any sort of plastic surgery, please don't watch this video because this video is not for you. This is a vlog guys, a vlog that will take you guys along with me when I get my breast augmentation done in two days time, super excited. So like I said, I'm going to give you guys a, how, uh, a what's it called, a flat tour. And then I'm going to give you guys also some hotel tour when I go downstairs. COVID swabbing that I need to do in the morning. So I need to go and get myself there. And then I've got blood also to take today as well as consultation. So I'm going to meet up with the surgeon. Like I said, I'm going to try and vlog everything because that's the whole essence of vlogging. Um, I'm going to meet up with the surgeon, obviously choose my implant size and all the other nice stuff and all the fun stuff. So, um yeah i am getting breast augmentation guys with implants under the muscle that is my whole deal of being here in turkey i did mention that i'm going to have a whole sit down in regards to who the surgeon is um maybe if you see him maybe you'll know him but i'm going to have a whole sit down in regards to who the surgeon is how much i've paid etc 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 in all those q a videos that i will be creating so if you've got any sort of questions that you want me to answer then please do comment or please ask them down below so that i can include them in my q a video so that i can answer and get back to you guys but for now guys i'm going to give you guys sort of a room tour we're going to start at the entrance let's do this real quick so this is obviously the door where you come in so if i come in this is the door i'm coming in through and i'm coming straight into the kitchen these are extra wardrobe i've put my bags and spaces in here okay so when you come in like i said you come through the kitchen it's got sink kettle cups and it's got a hot stove place as well so if you brought your own food you can obviously go and cook it's got washing machine so you can go ahead and do your washing as well 
and um, it's got a microwave as well on the top so this is basically the small kitchen that they have in the inside the hotel which is really convenient if you are looking at staying long longer and then on this door guys we are getting into the bathroom this guys is the bathroom okay so obviously basic bathroom toilet um basin and then it's also got um what's it called the shower over here so it's just like a walk-in shower basically and it's got this nice mirror over here as well so this is basically the bathroom guys and then when we're heading out 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 um this is when you come into the bedroom so obviously the bed is a bit of a mess because i've already slept in it but hey ho so this is when you come out to this side and then you've got your table here on the side as well so this is basically the room tour guys a comfortable nice room okay if i could say so myself and um, not pricey that's one thing about turkey so guys that's basically the room tour. so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and get ready because i need to find my way down to the hospital like i said on the list today i've got a couple of things that i need to do but for now guys i'm just going to go ahead and get ready and then i will see you guys once i've completed getting ready Um, I just basically came back from um, the hospital so I was unable to do any sort of video in the hospital and um, they didn't allow me to to, to film anything um, I really thought that even though I'm gonna maintain confidentiality I was gonna be able to film when they do my COVID swabbing and when they um, basically do my bloods and obviously the consultation with the anesthesiologist i was not allowed to do that which is fine but i do have another appointment today at half past three um with the surgeon okay so that's basically the consultation with the surgeon etc 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 i'm hoping it's going to give me a bit of good news so hopefully i'll be able to film then um but for now guys i'm just gonna go and take a nap because i'm really really tired this is the time for me to sleep and the only time um so at at half past three i'm gonna go and see the consultant so fingers crossed i'll be able to film there and then so bmw have a breast augmentation and applied together on monday yeah so first we see you in the next room okay uh, understand what size you want mm -hmm. and i'll uh, show you some examples and talk to the okay. okay yeah yeah let's first okay. so please take this off let's see you have the elastic sleeve surgery? Yes, yeah. three years ago. So, please take this off. So, you have to wear your stress before you. It means that you never have to develop well. That's why it's cycling. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, the lifting means we cut around your areola and one vertical incision. We call it blood pop incision. When we do the lifting, it gets very small. So, that's why we use the plant. What size you want? Um, 400, 450. Okay, let's try it. Is there a difference between that? This is a little smaller. Maybe we put different size. Okay. For example, 450 here, 425 here, something like that. Okay. Let's wear this. Okay. Go to the these are sizes, not the radio. Okay, okay. Just see, this is 450. Okay. And for also here. Okay. 
see your size will be like that if you use it for fit. Be all right. Yeah, it's okay for your body. Yeah, for my body. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Okay. yeah. So as I told you, we put 450, mm -hmm. but maybe this one 425 to make it equal. Okay. This is bigger. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Please take this off. I'll show you some examples. Okay. okay. All right. Thank okay. You. Okay, so I'll show you some examples. Okay, see this before surgery. Yeah, she has second breast. Mm -hmm. She has 350 inside and six months after surgery. The cut is around areola, one vertical incision. We call it lollipop incision. This is six months view, two years, and five years. Okay, 425. This is 450, mm -hmm. just 300, mm -hmm. 400. So like, for example, you know, the um, implants, will it make you to, will they be closer together? Like, you know, instead of further yeah. apart, yeah? You know, yeah. like to create that cleavage. Yeah, you, for example, this, she has 450 here, 400 here to make it equal. Three months after surgery, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, for you, 450 is okay, yeah. but your left press is a little bigger. That's why you must put a little smaller, like 425, okay. something okay. like that, to yeah. make it equal. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. so you put under the muscle. Yes. And we use Mentor brand. It's American at the airport. We give certificates. Okay. All your life, if no problem, you don't need to change it. Okay. 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 All right. So is it like an anchor incision? So no, down. lollipop incision. Oh, lollipop. Around your okay. areola, vertical incision. Okay. There's no cut. Oh, there's no at the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh god. Um, yeah. Because I've got a couple of pictures. Can I show you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. So initially, this is the size I was going for. Let me show you the size. Yeah, you, you will be very close to that. Is that bigger, would you say? Would no, you say that's 400 or 500? No, it's not 500, around 450. 450, yeah. okay. And then um, what about the closeness? So if you put the implants, will the breast draw closer or will they still be far apart? If you don't do lifting, yeah, yes. it's go apart. Okay, okay. But okay. we do the lifting, we make it closer. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So is it like high profile? Do you create? My, uh, you know, we use either high profile or moderate plus profile, but for you, I think high profile is uh, suitable. Okay. So 90% probably it will be high profile. Okay. okay, okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, yeah, that's fine. And it's silicone, not saline? Silicone gel, silicone not saline. So even if the implant ruptures, there's nothing that's running out? No, if you cut, it doesn't bleed. Okay, yes, okay. yes, yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Okay. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, that's all right. See you on Monday. Monday, then. yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. When you come to the hospital, I'll see you in your room, do some markings, mm -hmm. take your drug for feeding yourself. Okay. And yeah. take it operate okay. okay. All right, thank you very okay. much. You're thank welcome. you. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. Okay. Okay, so guys, I'm back from my consultation. Lucky, lucky, luckily, I was able to film um, a couple of things. Obviously, the consulta consultation with the surgeon. Also, ask him a couple of questions um, just to be more clear about what I want and also how he's going to go about giving me that desired look. Okay, I'm going to tell him again. I'm just going to remind him again on Monday. Think about a couple of other questions that I want to ask him um, on Monday when he comes prior to having surgery. Also, I'm happy that he's happy with my size that I chose, um, which is 450 cc's. Obviously, he's going to go under the muscle. It's going to be around high profile. I'm going to try and search a screenshot of, obviously, what we were supposed to have over here so that you guys can have an understanding and just following, just follow, 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 follow with me what we're supposed to have. So that is the plan, okay? So that's all I can say for now. Tomorrow is Sunday. I don't have anything going according to my itinerary on Sunday. I might go out, I might not. I might do Netflix and chill. <laughs> um, so we will see what happens tomorrow. So for the rest of the evening, I'm gonna order something, get a meal, just chill, and then obviously talk a bit with hubby. And that's it. I'm going to sleep, boring, right? But I just wanna get as much rest as I possibly can. I'm a bit anxious, to be honest. Um, I think I'm anxious about the pain. 
Good morning, guys. I hope you all well. So today is Monday. Today is basically the day of my surgery. It is going to half past nine in the morning. Yesterday, I didn't vlog at all. I initially thought I was going to vlog, but yesterday was just Netflix and chill. So there was nothing happening that's interesting per se. So before we actually go under the knife, this is how I am looking right now. Okay, this is how my breasts are looking at this point in time so as you guys can see it's really flat chested and the aim is obviously up together and round <laughs> easier said than done right i was unable to film having my bloods and that done because i was not able to take the camera around along with me in the hospital however i did request i did inquire and they said that i could film in my private room so when the consultant is going to come and see me today prior to going under the knife i'm going to try and film that as well just for you guys to get some sort of an idea what happened prior your surgery um so that's what i'm gonna do but for now guys i'm gonna pack my bags i'm gonna have a wash because i don't know next when i'm gonna have a wash and then um i'm gonna make my way down and get them to book me a taxi before i actually go to the hospital They said for me initially to be there seven o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna try and put the list of the itinerary here. But then what happened is they sent me a WhatsApp yesterday to say that actually it's not seven o'clock, but I need to be at the hospital for twelve o'clock. Now me being at the hospital for twelve o'clock does not necessarily mean that I'm gonna have my surgery for twelve o'clock, which is a bit annoying because I really wanted to get it over and done with. I should have had my surgery now if they were going according to the itinerary that they sent me for. Hey ho, that's what it is. So I'm just picking up all my fingers actually. Um, and yeah, so let's go and get dressed and then get going. All right guys, so I am in the hospital now. I'm gonna give you guys a hospital tour. I don't even know why I'm wearing the mask in my room. But anyway, um, we've arrived at the hospital. I'm gonna give you guys some sort of hospital room tour. So this is how the hospital 
room looks like basically this is where i will be spending one night so it's got all of that and then i believe it's got a bathroom as well so this is the bathroom So I have just finished signing consent forms and now I'm waiting for the nurses to come and put in a cannula as well as um, prep me and then I'm waiting for the doctor or the surgeon rather to come and do what he needs to do in regards to lining and whatever and then we're good to go. Hopefully. Just here. Um, yeah, yeah and Page, I think. Yeah, you must write. I understood, but I read and I accepted here. Okay, it's okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so I'm gonna ask you a few questions about yourself. Do yeah. you have any allergies? Um, no, no, I don't. Yeah, I read it. Antibiotics, uh, yeah. but I don't know which one it was because last time I was in Turkey, I don't know which one it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Height and weight? My height is 5 feet 2, 160 centimeters. 160. Okay. And my weight is 75.4 kilograms. Oh, okay. Your address, where did you come from? Yeah, in England. England. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any chronic diseases? No. No. Did you uh, have any operations before? Yes. Uh, what operation? Gastric, gastric sleeve surgery. Okay. Sleep. Yeah, sleep, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, how many years ago? Two years. Good. Any other? No. no. Uh, do you use any medication regularly? Mm, just iron tablets. Iron tablets? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know its name? Ferris Fumerite. E -R -R. You, ah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here, nothing all the time. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna try here. Another nurse. Okay, okay. okay. Nurses will prepare, prepare yeah. again and you take in 20 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the bigger one. So, either we put 450 to both sides or 450 here, 425 here to make it better. Mm -hmm. So, we cut around your area, I'm over to the incision. So, uh, the nurse will prepare, you will take in 20 minutes, okay? In 20 minutes. Surgeon just came in and I had my markings done. I'm waiting for the nurses to come and cannulate me and then I'm good to go down to theatres in 20 minutes. Okay, okay so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Last. Off. Off. Yeah. <laughs> what a nightmare. These breaks need to come out, to be honest. But... Hey ho. All right, guys, I'm going in now. Okay, guys, so I am three hours post-op surgery. I had to get up to go to the toilet. So I thought I'd take this chance to actually walk. Okay, so there's a bit of tightness, a bit of pain. I'm trying to relax my muscle. 
because every time I stiff, stiff up, every time I stiffen my muscle, that's when the pain comes. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna rest and get more IV morphine, um, and then you know, just take it a bit easy. Okay, guys, so let me do a quick update. It is half past three in the morning. I just woke up and I'm trying to get my steps in. So pain wise, realistically, pain on the side, pain in the center and on top here, because the implants are sitting up here. I'm a bit stiff with my arms because of the way I was laying. Oh, I had an itch, an itch. So it's like every time I tense up, my muscles then the pain comes so I'm trying to find a way to relax my muscles so I don't feel that pain if that makes any sense um okay so I've had morphine once twice actually and then I had some IV pain relief in the bag I need to go toilet actually Okay, so, okay, let me do a bit of a sit down with you guys. Um, so I can give you guys an update. So, we've got these boxes. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm seated. So, one is 450cc, the other one is 425 because I got 425 on my left because it was my left breast was bigger than my right breast. So I have got 425, 450s. I feel like they are high profile because they're literally sitting here. If anybody has been watching me for a while, you would know that this tattoo used to be flat and now it's got a bit of a volume. Obviously I'm still swollen and everything. Wow. So I am almost 24 hours post-op at 12 o'clock midday i'll be 24 hours post -op. and um yeah i'm i'm finding a bit of a struggle pain wise guys it is painful and um, do i regret doing it no definitely not because this is something i wanted to do for over a year now um if you know me and you followed my journey you would know that i've lost about 30 33 kilograms um, because I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy two years ago, almost two years ago in, in two months. Um, and these were like a major factor. They were like flat like a pancake. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say, oh, there's no pain, it's a bit of discomfort. It is painful, especially now that the pain relief has worn off. I can actually feel it. So where I'm experiencing pain is in the center of my chest right here. I can feel it. It's actually even itchy. I feel like I want to scratch at the bottom, even though I don't have an incision. Um, I hope not, because I was supposed to go for the lollipop incision instead of the anchor. Um, around the nipple area, it's sensitive. I can feel the sensitivity. Although I've got padded gauze underneath here. So that's where we are at the minute. We are supposed to be discharged today in the morning. I don't know how that's going to happen because they only keep me in hospital for one day. So I'm going to try and find a way to get back into bed. Um, to be honest, I might ask for some pain relief in a minute. Yeah, I think I'll do it. some chickpeas, soup, bread, salad, I think there's some chocolate mousse at the end there, water and a roll.
Hello. Yeah. Let me change your dressing. Okay. It takes a minute, just a minute. Okay. So if you change the dressing now, mm -hmm. when when is the next time I need to change it? I'll I'll explain. Please come back. Oh, you want sure, me to lie right. back? Yeah. Yeah. Six and then D. Okay. I hold it. So uh, you use this bra or any sports bra for one month. Okay? 24 hours. Yeah. If you are both, you can take three for the month, but try to wear it as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow at the hotel, you can take shower. Oh, okay. Yeah. But if the dressing shouldn't get wet, you remove all of them. Take shower. Wash all this place with soap or shampoo. Okay. After drying yourself, okay. put antiseptic brown solution to your incision line first. Incision line, first the antiseptic solution. And then you put cream on it. I'll give you this cream, the bigger one. So you, you put antiseptic solution first and then you put cream on it. And you put clothes on it and bra hold that. Beginning tomorrow, every two days, you take shower and do this for one month. Okay? Every two days. So what is that bright stuff that you put on? Antiseptic? Antiseptic solution, it's iodine solution. Oh, iodine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And bra hold that. So beginning tomorrow, every two days, you do this. Taking shower. Drying, so, the, so the can become wet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. cream and go and bra hold it. You do it every two days. You can turn, turn your side during sleeping. Oh, I can turn. You can do all day activities, but don't be very healthy. Okay, that's it. So, these are spare goes, of course, yeah. Okay. You ready to this is your cream, but they give bigger one to you now. This is your cream, okay. antiseptic brown solution here, okay. and you have two tablets, antibiotic, painkiller. Beginning this evening, both tablets twice a day, one in the morning, one in the evening, after food, take them at an hour between that. Okay. Both twice a day. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I'll see you on control day in my office. Okay? Okay, all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. So today I am two days post op. This is the swelling. Okay, so swelling has gone down. I have been rubbing some silicone gel just on top, massaging it. So this is the one I showed you guys in my video that I took with me. Scar silicone gel. Right, guys, so I've had my first shower today. Oh, it's nice. It feels nice. Okay, so this, guys, is a post-op bra that I bought from Amazon. Um, I feel very bloated. I still have a lot of swelling, as you guys can see. But I'm feeling so fresh, guys, like, literally. And um, this PJs is from Pretty Little Things. For now, guys... I'm just gonna lay down and get some more rest. So tomorrow is Friday. I've got my final consultation with the surgeon rather. He's gonna see how the stitches have been healing. I did manage to change my dressing and use this iodine as well as new set of gauze and some antiseptic cream, I believe, um, that he provided. And I got to clean the scars, but I feel so nice now and tomorrow like i said i'm going to take you guys along with me for my final um consultation with the surgeon and then on saturday around four o'clock i'm making my way to the airport because i'm flying back to the all right guys so hi today is day four of post-op let me see yes thursday wednesday thursday friday Fr day, day four of post-op 
I'm on my way to the surgeon's practice to get a final checkup because tomorrow I am flying back to the UK. And then I'm gonna try and see if I can get some shopping in as well. I'm gonna go to the mall and get some shopping because I do have holiday coming up in October. I'm going down to Spain. So I'm just gonna see if I could get a couple of items and then um, yeah, come back to the hotel, get something to eat and then start packing for tomorrow because I am leaving at four o'clock in the morning. My flight is departing at 0805 and then I will land up in um, Stansted Airport at 10.45. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to record it. I don't see why not. I was able to record the pre-consultation so the post-consultation shouldn't be an issue, okay? So let's go down. I need to get a taxi and then make my way down to the taxi. Yeah, please come here. Once I take my top off, I'm gonna put it on the For one month, every two days, you take shower and do this first and second yes. solution. Mm -hmm. It's a bit itchy. Yeah, healing wounds. Yeah, it's itchy. Yeah, it will be itchy. So, after and second solution, you put cream on it. And then you hold it on it and dry all the time. You do it for one month. Mm -hmm. After one month, start dressing change and use bio oil for the scars. Bio oil? Yeah, yeah. twice a day. Mm -hmm. By your own two scars for two months. Okay, okay. After one month, you can use any dry. After okay. one month, you can lie on it. Okay, okay. And, and if you do sports, you can do it after one and a half. What about swimming? Swimming for one month. One month. Okay. okay. Alright, thank you. Okay, everything's fine. Everything if you fine. are in person, you write us later, okay? Okay, alright. Okay, you take much. care, thank bye. You. All right guys, so I have just finished editing this video and I realized I don't have an outro. So this is your outro guys. So if you guys got any sort of questions, please do comment that down below so that I can include them in my one month post of Q&A. And um, yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you've obtained the necessary information that you needed to obtain. So guys, this brings me to the end of my uh, video. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye.